Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jean, also known as Giancy. And so, um, hi, I am back. Long time no see. I thought I was gonna keep doing YouTube, um, just making videos, but I got really busy. And now I'm not busy. So, now we're here. Okay, so I thought for today that we would be doing a, maybe a little get ready with me because uh, I don't have anything better to do. I actually got off of work early today and I thought, you know what, I'm really bored. Uh, I have nothing to do. And I was like, you know what? I mean, let's just get started. Let's just see where it leads. You know what I mean? Two strands like a look because like, I think they're a look, but I don't know. Are we living? Sorry that I literally stopped uploading for the longest time. I, when I say I got really busy, I mean it. Like, I, I was going, I am still going to school full time and I was working two jobs. And so I was just stretching myself out really thin and I couldn't keep up with uploading videos and, it's, and it made me so sad because I, well, for me, it was like, I wasn't, um, I wasn't putting out, I wasn't going to put out the content that I wanted to, you know what I mean? I don't want to be like everyone else. And that's what I was trying to do with my whole YouTube channel was kind of make like makeup videos, but also kind of skit videos. I don't know. It just took a long time and time that I didn't have. And I do feel bad, but whatever. We're here now. We're trying something out. You know, if it's just a new sit down, get ready with me every kind of every week, then um, we'll see. We'll see where that goes. Okay. <laughs> you know why I started doing this is because there's this YouTuber that I've been extremely, extremely obsessed with. And her name is Bailey Sarian. You all should go subscribe to her. She is so cool. Like I feel like me and her would be really good friends. But she's just really cool and she's really nice. I love, love the way she does her makeup and just, I love the way she does her channel and everything too. And so it's like, and so she, she does like the kind of like get ready with me kind of style videos. And so I was just very inspired and I was like, you know what, Bailey, like if you do it, I'm going to do it because like you're an inspiration, right? I really like watching get ready with me's and doing things like that. But me personally, I never wanted to like do that because I just, I'm telling you, I feel like everyone else does that already. And at the same time, it's hard. Like, I feel like I've just rambled already for 20 minutes about literally nothing. Hey, um, I was really struggling whether to do um, colors or like a, a color look or like a really bronzy like summer look because obviously it's summer and I've been I really want to I kind of was digging like the really uh grungy look that I did earlier this week that I didn't film I just did for pictures and that's when I realized that if it's pointless if I just do my makeup not really I mean you can everyone does make I don't ah! so yeah so I was really torn between um doing a really really colorful look because I literally have three color palettes that I could be using. I just got this one, the new Morphe Pride one. And then I have the Blue Blood and the Blood Sugar. And I was like, oh my god, I could totally do a colorful look, right? But then I just saw Tati do, or Tati get her makeup done by Scott Barnes. And he made her look like J-Lo. And I was like... I want to look like J-Lo. My dog just started, not my dog, but the dog I'm taking care of over the summer just started like growling for literally no reason. Es un fantasma en el apartamento. Apartamento. I was really inspired to do a really just bronzy, like, oh my God, a really just bronzy look, you know what I mean? So that's what I decided to do. And yeah, and so that is maybe my summer goal is just to keep up with YouTube, maybe do different things. There's a lot of stuff that I've been trying to do this summer, um, as in just like 
not sitting around and doing nothing. I was like, I don't want to just sit here and do nothing because then I would um, just get like sad. You know what I mean? And then for some reason, I've been having this mentality of like, use it or lose it. And I'm like, oh my God, like if I don't do my makeup, I'm going to forget how to do makeup. You know what I mean? I don't know why. I don't, oh, hold on. Wait, I didn't wipe my beauty blender. I don't know. I see, I kind of forgot what I was talking about. So now I really don't know what was going on. Damn it. It's hard. I don't know how people do it. Like, ugh. I really respect the YouTubers who like, oh my god. Trying to look for like a good face primer because I feel like my face has been getting a lot drier recently and I don't know. I don't, oh, sorry. <laughs> I don't know if it's because of moving around or like, I don't know. I don't know. But it's like, I feel like my face is really just not working with me right now. Like, look, I'm starting to break out right here. And it's not even like a, like really bad, like, like acne. It's like little, like white heads. And I'm like, what the heck happened? I, and I thought I knew what had happened because, um, what you gonna call it? Because I started using this new, uh, face cream, um, I don't think my skin liked it. So then it freaked the freak out. So then I'm just like, well, but damn, like, leave me alone. Jesus Christ. Anyways, so I'm going to be using the James Charles palette today. Mm, tea. Using that today. Um, I think we're going to say more to like a brown, almost, almost, maybe, no, I think like brown coppery. I don't know. Um, I don't know what I want to do today. I'm really just like kind of winging it but kind of not at the same time I don't know also I have the window open like to my apartment and while I'm filming this so I can get all the light and I feel like everyone can see me and they're just like a gang this is really weird because I feel like I have to keep talking to keep you entertained and then everyone's gonna realize that like I'm not funny you know what I mean or maybe I am funny, I'm just like trying to, I don't know. I'm hungry. Yeah. Oh my god. I love oatmeal cream pies. This sucks, because since I've been uh, moving around a lot, well, okay, so the story is, is I got a summer job over here where I go to school, and uh, I'm just staying in this apartment for two months, but like I said, I wanted to do like, I want to start making videos again and doing things like that. So, I uh, I brought my makeup, but I can't bring like everything, like all my brush holders and stuff. So now all my brushes are in bags, so I'm just looking for them. So, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Did you guys see the new press photos for West Side Story? I was living i love west side story and i've been listening to the original soundtrack a lot i'm not a fan of the broadway one no offense i really like the original movie tonight tonight it all began tonight i saw you the moon went away tonight tonight there's only you tonight this brush kind of hurts. It's like a knockoff brush that I got at this store. And, uh, not a fan. Is this what you guys want? Like, I just feel like it's kind of, like, boring. Like, I feel like I'm boring. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like I'm just, like... I feel like I'm boring. Or maybe that's just, like, my own insecurity. I don't know. thinking of like the next makeup look I'm gonna do because like I really like doing makeup looks like this I don't know why I don't know what's in me to just keep doing the same like look I'm just trying to make it more dramatic today because usually I go a little tame I can't 
be tame, I can't be blame, I can't be, I can't, I can't be tame. There was a question about the intentions, I'll tell you. I'm not here to sell you, but tell me to go to hell. Tonight, tonight. I just didn't want to do the same brown smoky eye that I've been doing. Tonight, tonight. Hello, hello, tonight, what you want, what you want, what to say tonight. I think I already talked about Bailey Sarian, but going back to her, she is so cool. Like, I want to just be friends with her. Like, she's so cool. I really, really like her. And she does this thing on Mondays. It's called Murder, Mystery, and Makeup Mondays. And it's so good. It's so good. And she just really, like, inspires me. Her and Makara Tours, they're both kind of smaller on YouTube, but they're so funny. And they both are honestly, like, my inspirations. And what the kind of content I want to make. There's this shade that I've been wanting to try in here. The Stonewall one, isn't it so pretty? I tried to be on the Jeffree Star PR list and he didn't pick me. That's fine. I was gonna buy his lip glosses because right now I'm a glossy bitch. Oh wow, oh wow. I've been really into glosses right now. And so I was gonna buy his lip glosses and I really, really wanted them. But like, I was like at checkout and then I checked my bank account and I was like, <laughs> so I could not afford his, oh my god, this is so pretty. I could not afford his lip glosses, and I was so sad. So then, that's why I tried to get on his PR list. But thank you to all you guys who liked my tweet. It got 82, 85 likes. Like, that's kind of, that's kind of good. That's kind of insane. Right after that, I posted another picture of me without makeup, and that one doesn't do as well. And that's fine. I understand. I'm not as pretty without makeup, and I, I get it. But it just kind of hurts, you know? It just kind of hurts. This is not what I was going for, but like, I'm kind of living for it. It's really like, it's really rustic. Not rustic, rusty. You know what I mean? Like, it's not rusty, dusty, and crusty, it's just rusty, you know? This is so hard. I feel so like, like, not overwhelmed, but just kind of like, oh my god, what are I talk about, you know what I mean? Because I just feel like, I don't know. I'm just being real with you guys. Like, I'm just being really like, like, oh my god, like I'm being like down the earth like and shit. Like, you know, like I'm stripping down like my character and I'm just really like talking to the camera. This is the only shade that I've used from this palette, which is so sad because it's so pretty. But I keep getting stuck in doing these rustic looks, but they're just so pretty. Like, I feel like this kind of makeup really suits me, you know what I mean? What's that story? Sorry I talk about the same five things. I'm pretty sure I do that in real life. I'm not too sure. That's my friends. Just kidding. I don't have any. Natalie Wood plays Maria, but throughout this whole movie, she has like this accent and it's just so funny to me. It hugs me up how she's all like, she's like, Tony. <laughs> and then she's like, what does Tony stand for? And then the guy's like, Anton, because he's white. And then she's all like, Te adoro, Anton. And I'm like, shut up. Like, I just, oh. it makes me laugh. Oh my God, I didn't even talk about, like, the, oh my God. The ends of this, not the end, but like the, one of the songs towards the end, like, I don't want to spoil it for you, but like, there's like a really intense part. And so this girl, Anita, who's Maria's like friend, I guess, or like, yeah, I guess they're friends. Um, and she, uh, I'm talking about, she is, I don't know, should I wear eyeliner with this look? So I started to do my, my eyeliner on camera. I stopped talking because I realized, I was like, oh my God, like it kind of looks ugly. So towards the end of the movie, there's like this, like, super good scene and it's like it's really intense right and it's a duet between Anita and Maria and it is one of my favorite songs besides tonight 
Um, it's one of my favorite songs from the from the movie. It goes something like, well, so, but it's just so good because Anita just out of, she's just going off on Maria. She's all like, she's like, a boy like that would kill your brother. Forget that boy and find another. Like that, like, you know, like Anita's going off. But then Maria, you know, comes out of nowhere and she's all like, she's all like. One of my favorite songs. It's just such a good freaking movie. And then I found out I was going to rewatch it, right? And then I found out they took it off of Netflix. I was like, what the heck? That's so rude. Uh, yeah. So now I'm going to bronze the frickety frack out of my face because I really, really want it. I was going to do like um, contour underneath, but then I forgot just going to clog my pores even more and just put a bunch of powder um, just so I can look really bronze up because this foundation I think is like two shades too white for me now because I feel it that the sun's harsh UV rays really penetrated my skin cells and really brought out my um, my, my like tan how white I used to be look at that that is so annoying no problem so my skin if you just look at me you're like oh he's white you know what i mean i'm like no i'm not first of all i'm mexican <laughs> you know hashtag represent the culture my skin uh it, it may appear very fair skinned but it's like if i can put it in like a spectrum of way of like foundation shades like if there's light medium and dark um I would be the first shade of medium. I'm not light enough to be light, but I'm not dark enough to be like, you know, medium, like darker. So it's really hard for me because I feel like I'm almost in between and there's never really a shade for me because at the same time, I'm super, super neutral. Like I'm really, really neutral. Like I'm not pink and I'm not yellow. And so it's like, it's really hard for me to find a good foundation. But I've been trying, I've been like debating whether to try like a new dewy foundation, you know what I mean? Cause I've all like I've always been very I've always just stayed in the my matte, you know. So it's like I've never really ventured out into like the dews, you know. So I've been really wanting to try that. Oh my god, I forgot to talk again. Oh, I think this red was really like the move. Oh, this is cute. I feel like I've done a look like this before, but it wasn't as like snatched. If god damn it. Mira, un fantasma, I told you. Mira, like a, oh, I do. I'm gonna say how I need a smaller mirror and I have one, I forgot. There's a man outside. I love a lash, I love a good lash. These are my favorite lashes. They're um, Teddy by Kiss, like they're in the, I think I have, I feel like I have a package somewhere, but it's, it's, it's one of my, it's my favorite lash right now. I love them. But again, after watching Tati's video, I saw that with Scott Barnes, that he's JLo's makeup artist, and I'm gonna get the lashes that JLo freaking wears, and they're only $18. So I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna look like JLo. You know what I mean? And I love JLo. If you have my love and I gave you all my trust, would you come for me? Sorry, I almost had a, I almost went blind from eyelash glue. That's another story for another time. Bam, bit. Okay, now just the lips and then, uh, yeah. So this has been my favorite lip combo recently. I got this literally like two, three weeks ago at the Nick store in San Antonio. And it's just a, like this strictly vinyl gloss from, um, from NYX. I don't, I've never, I haven't seen it at Ulta. Maybe it is, I don't know. Um, but it's so good. It's so good. I don't know if you can tell, but I love a new lip. But I also almost want to be like borderline chola, and that's why I do a lot of lip liner. Called Sugar Mama, and the color like on the in the like on the bottle of the bottle, I didn't like. I was like, ooh, I don't know. But then I freaking swatched it. I was like, oh my god, it's so pretty.
<gasps> Look at that! Gives me that like '90s Pam Anderson like look. It. And wow, I think we're done. My name is Jean, also known as Beyonce, and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all later. Bye!